Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll cover the magic of supplementary angles in trigonometry. In one of my video, I showed you the magic of uh, complementary angles in trigonometry. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the magic to show you the magic of supplementary angles in trigonometry. Now in my last video, uh, for the, uh, the lecture that I have given on the unit circle, you may have seen that sine theta or sin x when x equal to 0 degree, 90 degree, 180, 270 and 360 degree it gives this value. Sin 0 degree equal to 0, sin 90 degree equal to 1. Keeping that values over here and cos over here, I showed you the sine graph goes like this, this purple line, curved line over here, y equal to sin x and uh, y equal to cos x is the red one goes like this. Same thing I have it over here and the maximum uh, value of sin x can get 1 and minimum is minus 1 if it's a parental graph such as this okay and cos is the same uh, highest um, or maximum value it can reach is 1 and the lowest it can go is minus 1 so over here you can see that positive 1 and minus 1 for uh, sin x and it goes all the way from 0 to 1 and then coming back to 0 and then all the way to minus 1 and go back to that and then Co cosine graph is like that. I have drawn the tan graph, but I didn't put any values over here. The reason is there is something interesting going on, okay? That whenever I'm gonna have zero, that zero divided by one, that's gonna give me zero, okay? So I'll just put that one zero, that's no problem. But one divided by zero, that's, I have a problem, okay? Because I cannot allow to, divide any number by zero. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it a really interesting way. Uh, to get this value, I'm gonna put over here, not 90, 89.9, .9. okay? So let's see what 10, 10, 89.9 .9 gives me. I got 572.95, so it's safe to say 573, okay? And another value for this one, I'm going to take, let me put it over here, 89.9. And the next value, not 90, because 90 is 0, uh, 1 by 0, so I can take that. Another one, 90.1. So 10, 90.1 gives me negative 573. Okay. And this one, I can get it. 0 divided by minus 1, that's 0. Nothing wrong with that. But over here, minus one divided by zero, again, I have some problems. So what I'm gonna do, do it again, something like this, 169.9, and over here, 270.1. Uh, very small difference from 270 plus minus, such as this one, 270 plus minus 0 0.1. So when I'm subtracting, I'm getting 269.9, and when I'm adding, I'm getting 270.1. Same thing over here, 90, plus minus 0 0.1 that gives me these two values now 10 269.9 that also gives me 573 approximately so i'm guessing since these two were same with negative sign this two would be same with negative sign but let me be clear uh, just be sure 10 270.1 okay that's minus 573 and 0 divided by 1 is 0 again. So this is what I did. Uh, at 0 degree, 10, 10, whenever 10, 0 degree, it's 0. 10, 0 is 0. And then this is this is very big number, 89.9. So I put somewhere up there. If I go, it's really close to 90 degree, this line, but it's not going to touch that line. And this thing over here, when uh, 10 is 89.9, 90.1 uh, it's really somewhere below down here and at 180 degrees it's zero then when it's a uh, 269.9 it's big one such as this one something equal somewhere over here up here so the graph should be looking something like that and uh, two, uh, 270.1 it's again below somewhere down here and 360 degree over here 10 graph looks something like this okay but I'm not going to talk about this that much. What I'm going to talk about is, let's say in between the, I'm, I'm concentrating on sine x over here. Let's say I'm concentrating one value, particular value in the middle of 0 and 1. That's 0 0.5. Okay. 
then this line y equal to 0 0.5 that line cut this x-axis in two different values okay two different places one is at this particular place this this particular place okay and it's gonna have a value of x and we don't know what that one is there is a question mark and another one is over here so that's a question mark now this one is in between 0 and 90 so this is in the first quadrant and second one is in between is 890 and 180 both of them are positive now if you remember this unit circle from the last lecture that cos is positive and sine is positive in the first quadrant and cos is negative and sine is positive in the second quadrant so first quadrant and second quadrant sign is positive so over here in the graph we can see that first quadrant 0 to 90 sign is positive 0 0.5 and from 90 to 180 sign is positive again how do we get that okay let's say sign x equal to 0 0.5 okay and when we did this this values over here um, this one sine 30 degree gives me half okay the reason I give this example because we have done it in the last previous uh, uh, video so sine X that can be sine 30 equal to 0 0.5 okay that's sine 30 so therefore X is going to be 30 degree but from this graph I have showed you that this sign is half at theta or, or x when is 30 degree and over here when this goes all the way to 150 degree that also half so I can write down sign 150 degree equal to 0 0.5 again therefore x equal to 150 degree so x here have two values one is 30 one is 150 this is in the first quadrant and this is in the second quadrant so this 30 degree over here instead of this question mark I can say this is 30 degree and instead of this question mark I can say this is 150 degree so sine is positive in the first quadrant and second quadrant okay and you can see that if I put negative 0 0.5 it's gonna be negative in the third quadrant and fourth quadrant it's gonna go like something like that okay so we can conclude one thing that let me let me just draw these four quadrants okay this is sine positive here is sine positive here is sine negative negative positive positive and in the fourth quadrant sine negative okay let's do cos now if I, I'm not gonna go on details on that but I hope you can see that if I put that 0 0.5 line over here 0 0.5 and this is this one was minus 0 0.5 okay that was in negative two values over here now this one cos has positive sign in between 0 and 90 and another positive in uh, fourth quadrant 270 to 360 so cos is positive I'm gonna use different color cos is positive in the first quadrant and cos is positive in the fourth quadrant and cos is negative in the second quadrant cos is negative in the third quadrant uh, you can see this what did I say cos is negative in the second quadrant cos is negative in the third quadrant let's see if I am right or not see minus 0 0.5 line should be going through this over here and this line intersect this curve at this particular point this particular point and this particular point and this particular point lies in between 90 to 180 that's in the second quadrant and 180 to 270 that's third quadrant coming to 10 so this 10 is 0 0.5 if I draw this line okay it's easy to see that it's intersect at a point over here that's in between 0 to 90 so we can say that 10 is positive use this color 10 is positive in the first quadrant and 
10 is positive again in 180 to 270 that's third quadrant it's first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant so 10 is positive in the third quadrant okay what about negative this negative 0 0.5 and that's in the in the second quadrant over here and over here in the fourth quadrant so 10 is negative in the 10 negative in the second quadrant and 10 is negative in the first quadrant now we got some kind of thing going on here over here okay let me just use a different color over here this is the first quadrant anti-clockwise we go and this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant now all sine 10 cos they are positive so instead of that we are going to write down all all positive here and over here only sine positive 10 and cos negative so we're gonna put sine over here and here 10 positive so we're gonna write down 10 over here and in this particular fourth quadrant I have cos positive so I have cos positive over here all sine 10 cos if we go anti-clockwise okay now I need a mnemonic to memorize this thing okay so we are using that all the whole word for that and for sign I'm gonna use the first letter I'm gonna replace that s first letter with another word student all students and then 10 first letter is T took and C is the first letter of that one and it's chemistry okay I don't know if you are all the students are taking chemistry or not but this is an in mnemonic that help us to remember this in the first quadrant all trigonometric ratios are positive sine cos tan positive in the second quadrant sine is positive cos and tan negative in the third quadrant tan is positive sine and cos negative and in the fourth quadrant cos is negative uh, cos is positive sine and tan ne negative okay so I hope you remember that and this is like like this one and what what I, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the same thing let's say cos x equal to 0 0.5 uh, I'm gonna go straight ahead for the solving this equations okay then cos inverse I'm gonna I'm gonna use cos inverse I'm gonna use the calculator right now 0.5 that's gonna give me 60 degree so 60 degree that's in the first quadrant and I know there is another positive values lie from 0 degree to 360 degree and that's in the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant cos is positive so I can write down 360 minus that 60 that's gonna be 300 degree okay you can use that calculator uh, cos 60 degree equal to 0 0.5 cos 300 degree that's also 0 0.5 calculator is giving me that value but why is it so now remember in the unit circle that's why there is the magical thing going on with the unit circle okay whenever I reflect this my initial triangle on y-axis I got this one and when I'm gonna reflect this one to this side so this is gonna be looking something like that this was not quite right angle okay this is gonna be here and if I reflect this one over here or this one over here it's gonna be coming to somewhere over here okay now this instead of theta if this is uh, instead of 30 if this is theta this is gonna be theta so this value over here is going to be 180 minus theta I hope you can see that okay so remember this one we are using theta 180 minus theta now when it's coming from here to here okay this this remember when I fold this this is the congruent triangles this is the reflection of this triangle over here so this is must be theta so all the way from here to here is 180 and this theta so this is 180 plus theta that falls in the third quadrant and when we are going from here to all the way over here this angle is theta but whenever we are going from here to here this is actually 360 minus theta 360 minus theta 
So these are the values. These are, these are the way we're going to do this. Primary value is theta or calculated value. Then we're going to say if we want to fall a, a particular angle in the second quadrant, then we're going to subtract that from 180. If we want that to be in the third quadrant, then we want 180 plus theta. This acute angle is going to be in the third quadrant. 360 minus theta, that's going to be in the fourth quadrant. And 360 plus theta, that's actually going back to the original over here. Okay, this is what you're going to use. Now, some of the students say, why not 270 minus theta? Okay, remember what happened here when we had complementary angles. Sine become cos, cos become sine. So, whenever we are using this, I hope you know that. If you don't know this, it's okay. 90 degree angle or any angle multiples of 90 degree is known as oblique angle oblique angles okay now these angles are special whenever we are having let's say cos 90 minus theta that becomes sine theta and whenever we are having cos 270 theta minus uh, 270 minus theta that becomes sine theta okay therefore we don't want to use that but for the cos sine and tan 180 that's multiple of 180 if we have that, okay, then it's okay. This is a 90 degree uh, multiple of that's, uh, uh, yeah, oblique angles. But when this multiples with the odd number, I'm sorry, I, I should have mentioned that odd number that 270 is three times 90. Okay, when it's like that, then it shows this characteristics. Sine becomes cos, cos becomes sine. But when 90 is a multiple with a even number, then sine remains sine cos remains cos, tan remains tan, but depending on which quadrant they falls into, their sign changes. In this case, I had this value and to get it in the fourth quadrant, what did I do? I use this, this thing. I take 360, I, I take 60, subtract it from 360. That gives me 300 degree, okay? If it was 10x, 10x equal to 0 0.5, what I would have done, then inverse 0.5 gives me 26.6 approximately x equal to 26.6 now this is in the first quadrant acute angle first quadrant 10 positive now i have to have another value at third quadrant i hope you remember that positive in the first quadrant and positive in the third quadrant okay to fall this angle in the third quadrant i need to add this angle with 180 degrees so 180 plus that in the third quadrant so 180 plus 26.6 x equal to 26.6 that's the first one and 180 plus 26.6 that's gonna give me 206.6 you can put this value over here 10 26.6 that's gonna give me 0 0.5 this value 10 200 6.6 .6, that's also give me 0 0.500 okay i hope you understand this and why this thing is happening uh in my next video i'll show you some more uh tips and magic of trigonometry okay thank you very much have a good day